Let's jump to a different topic. Again, something that actually happened this year. You were a part of it. I believe other individuals were a part of it as well regarding where I was sent a few months to do something that led to probably one of the biggest things that I'm doing today. So I believe it was in May of 2022. Sent to Las Vegas to go interview a woman who I've never met before, Dr. Sandra Rose Michael. I heard about her first through my family and their experiences, and then a very interesting chain of events happened. One thing led to the next, and I started being encouraged by you and the organization. Go interview this woman, bring awareness to her technology, find a way to make it accessible and affordable to the entire world. I'm like, listen, I'm tired. And I told you many times, I don't want to. I don't want to get on another plane. I need to go to sleep. You said, okay. And then you kept pushing every so often until there came a point where I understood I need to go do this because there's a very good reason for it. So I stopped questioning it. I got on the plane. I went to Dr. Sandra Rose Michael's house with my father, actually. And from that whole situation, interviewed her, put it out, and everything changed. That interview was seen by tons of people. And it literally created a a massive, massive initiative for the entire world that's benefiting from it right now. That whole thing is called unified healing, as you know, and we could speak about that later. But my question for you is, number one, did you know the impact that this was going to make when you encouraged me to go and interview her? Did you know that something like this was going to come to fruition? I knew it was possible. What did you know about Dr. Sandra Rose Michael before I was sent to go interview her? It's not important. You've said multiple times and one time specifically that I remember clearly that a lot of her knowledge doesn't come from learning in this life, but comes from memories from past lives. You said that she's been a master in many lives in many different places. Everything she knows is out of past memory. She went to school. But she really didn't need school. It was all through memory. Yeah, she doesn't have to go to school. She's a genius. School's a joke. For her. Sometimes she doesn't even know how she knows what she knows. But she knows. She was in a way approached by the organization back in July of 2011. And from what she shared, they pretty much said there's going to come a point where we're going to interfere and get this technology everywhere. And her words that she heard from them was it's going to be everywhere very, very quick. Eleven and a half years later, I was sent to do that interview. I even remember when the whole thing came into my mind, which was the whole Unified Healing Network. I think I called you right when that was happening, and I said, I have an amazing idea. Told you about the idea. We put the whole thing together really quick, and in a very short period of time, in the first five months of launching that initiative, we reached over 100 centers around the world. Was this the sort of plan that I didn't know about? Or was that me exercising my free will? Meaning, was this known before I actually did it and I was in a way being led purposely? Or was it really I just had this download and everything came in the way that it came and, you know? What do you think? Let me ask you that. What do you think really happened? Well, let's connect some dots for a second. I told you, After the idea came into my mind, and it came into my mind real quick, three or four days later, it was already built. We had a website. We had everything. Then I started having second thoughts, and I sat with you back and forth for a period of two weeks. I kept calling you. I kept speaking to you. I said, listen, I don't want to do this. This is too much work for me. It's scaring me. And I started freaking out and getting overwhelmed. And what did I say? And your words, paraphrased obviously, was do whatever you want. But, and I'll never forget, you said this is going to be the biggest thing you've ever done, and this is going to be one of the keys that's going to bring you next level beyond anything that you've ever done so far. And in a way, that also scared me because I was already doing so much. But hearing you keeping on saying that every time I resisted saying, I don't want to do this, this is too much, I sat on it and I I consulted with other people and like, what the hell do I do? You know, is this the right thing to do? Can I do it? Do I have the ability? And again, you said, if this is being put in your hands, of course you have the ability. 
And I said, okay, I'll do it so long as there's a plan B. <laughs> you forgot to mention that I called you stupid also, but okay, continue. Yes, yes. You said you're stupid if you don't do it, but you do whatever you want. And I went ahead and obviously it was the greatest decision that I've ever made. I just want to understand, I know that there was a part of me and my own free will that had to make a decision. But did they know it was going to get this big this quick? Because this is huge. You haven't seen nothing yet. You're saying it's only the beginning. Yes. But you also have to understand, not only all of your viewers are watching this video, or the videos you're creating, the enemies are watching also. So there are certain liabilities that come with the job. So just be ready. Do you believe that as more tasks are thrown my way, and even Dr. Michael's way in this situation as well, because she is now in a limelight, do you believe that protection comes with that? I'd like to believe it, but I will not guarantee it. What's your overall stance of that technology? I assume I know your answer, but what's your perspective? What do you think about a big picture? Have you ever tried it yourself? Yes. What's your experience? Well, you really have to ask a very sick person. The sicker you are, the more you're going to feel it. So I cannot tell you that I feel anything extraordinary, but I'm not a good example. I can tell you it affected my sleep, reduced my stress. But I've seen many other miracles with other people that really needed the help. Not everybody is the same. Not everybody is going to react so positively as somebody else. But overall, it's a very unique machine. How do you believe Dr. Michaels' kids play into this equation of the evolution of this technology? 